the heartbeat of competition, the drama of the moment. This is NASCAR on Nick Blam Racing. NASCAR comes to the Corn Belt with a bunch of truckers hoping to bring home a belt full of cash. It's the Gander Outdoor Truck Series here at Iowa Speedway for today's running of the M&M's 200 presented by Casey's General Store. Welcome back race fans to the NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mode. I'm your commentator and driver of the number 54 N29 Technologies Toyota Tundra for David Gilliland Racing, Mikey McBlam. And we're looking to repeat the two race wins in a row from yesteryear. Coming off a hard fought win at Texas, we return to one of our favorite racetracks, hoping to pull off a second career win at Iowa. But to do that, we need to overcome the home track advantage of Team 24 driver Brett Boffitt. Sitting second in points and closing, he is hungry for his second win of the season. Ross Chastain sitting fourth in points, but third in the playoffs, knocked out his first win earlier this season. But does the 45 have enough to challenge the 54? We'll have to see. The field is full of hungry drivers while the fans are hungry for racing. So without further ado, let's do some Nash Truck in short track style. All right, the field has been set for the M&M's 200 here at Iowa Speedway. Ross Chastain is a member of the Cool Kids Club. I don't remember Team Chaos right there, but Austin Lane Self and Grant and Finger have been looking a bit slow. They have their work cut out for them, been struggling all weekend with the truck. Not so much us. We're going to do what we can from the position that we are starting from. Austin Hill and Ben Rhodes are going to lead this band of hooligans to the line. Ring flags in the air. Let's bring the noise at Iowa. First lap is complete. Brett Moffitt has taken over the race lead. Ooh, we almost ran over Grand Enfinger there. <laughs> Grand Enfinger has been one of those trucks that's been kind of struggling all weekend long, but he's not doing too terrible here. Ooh, he looked like he was a little bit loose up there. And there's our former teammate Parker Kligerman, who I believe started in the top 10. He's falling back to 11th. Oh, yeah, got a little bit, a little bit snug there. Over, did a little bit of overdrive in that time. Got to park the bus a little bit so we don't lose that position. Looks like we got Stuart Friesen leading now. Parker Kligerman looked to go to the outside, but Mason Massey is blocking him. We lose the inside lane here. Yeah, the oh, 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 easy, easy, easy. Uh, Christian Eckes is going to go on by. Ooh, that's a tight squeeze off of turn number two that time. Jordan Anderson looks like he's also going to take a position away from us. We're going to try to take a position away from Mason Massey. And clear him. Ten to go in the stage. Yeah, I need to do a little bit of a... A little bit more of a setup here. This is... The Delta Force Agency setup, as I have always say, I usually, nine times out of ten, I'm using one of their setups. On the Unless there's the off chance. Ooh, man, I pushed up into Christian Eckes. Had to lift out of the gas, so I didn't, didn't turn him there. But one of the things I have to do, like, so in the previous season, I was barely redlining before I got into the turn. As you see here... Coming in, going into turn one, I'm approaching that red line a, a lot faster. And number two, I didn't have to break. <laughs> so that just made me all the more faster when I was in the three-star car last season. <laughs> but now I'm in a five-star. I'm hitting the red line a whole lot faster. I have to break when I go into the turn. I'm carrying a lot more speed. So it's a little bit of a challenge. It's a little bit different uh, than I'm actually used to here. We're currently running 11th. Stuart Friesen's kind of walking away with the lead a little bit here. 
We're going to try to work our way probably on Austin Hill. Probably going to work to get around him as Austin Hill has fallen quite a bit to the back here. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was not clear. It was not clear. He's fighting back on the outside there. Okay, Jordan Anderson, I'm going to need you to move. <laughs> Jordan Anderson trying to chop my nose off there. I'm not really all that appreciative of it. <laughs> And we have a caution. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit. I hit him. Oh, so did <laughs> so did Matt Crafton. <laughs> All right. So problems for the number four, Todd Gilliland. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to be coming down pit road as well as Brett Moffitt. Got a few takers here. We got a few takers. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to to actually pit or not. I think I I think I have to. I think I have to at this point just because. Not only tires, but to try to have an advantage towards the end of the race. You know, these guys on no tires are going to be sitting ducks. So, I think I got to do it. I think this is the strategy right here. All right. So, we're back in 26, but that's okay. We've got a few laps to go in stage number one. Let's see what we can do here. Green flag's back in the air. Ooh, I spun the tires. Man, shout out to Austin Hill for giving me room there. <laughs> I, I spun the tires pretty hard. All right, two laps to go in stage number stage number one. This is fine. I'm not worried about this. We we're not going to get a stage any stage points, obviously. But these guys are going to be sitting ducks back here, and we're going to be able to pick up a lot of spots. Plus, plus we're being we're going to have some really good track position for stage number two. All right, one more to go. And stage number one. Looks like Johnny Sauter's taking over the lead. Look, is that, is that Stuart Friesen up there or is that Brett Moffitt? <laughs> I saw somebody up there making some, some crazy moves. Let's go to the inside of Travis Guapel. Now the inside of Grant Enfinger. Yeah, Enfinger is definitely struggling. So, Johnny Sauter is going to win the stage. We're going to finish the stage in 17th, but that's okay. We still have pretty decent fresh tires. Plenty of fuel to be able to make it. We're going to have some guys that are pitting, but we will not. So Johnny Sarder wins the stage, followed by Harrison Burton, Raphael Lassard, Matt Crafton, and Christian Eckes round out the top five. We got Jordan Anderson, Kyle Benjamin, Parker Klegerman, former teammate, I see you, Tyler Dipple, and Josh Remy will round out the top ten. You know what? Uh, I, I thought about it for a second there. I thought about it for a second there. We're going to go ahead and stay out. Stuart Friesen also had the same strategy. So we got some guys up here that are going to have the same strategy as us. We're 99 on the tires. We're going to be good to go. Here we go. Green flags in the air for stage number two. Ooh, had the restart gear on Stuart Friesen. It wasn't enough, though. He's going to have the momentum on the inside. Ross Chastain falls in behind us. Ooh, Stuart Friesen went way up on the racetrack there. The high lane can work here at Iowa. As you see there, Stuart Friesen made it work a little bit unrealistically, but he still made it work. All right, easy, 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 easy. Don't run over Ross Chastain. Looks like it's a top three breakaway right now. Ross Chastain takes over the race lead. Stuart Friesen is going to fall back to second. We are currently running third. Here's Brett Moffitt. So I'm pretty sure that was Brett Moffitt making some crazy moves <laughs> through the pack there on that uh, on that previous restart after the caution after pit stops. Moffitt's running that high lane. He, that's not going to work for him. That's not going to work for him. Ross Chastain and Stuart Friesen still battling. Friesen running the Kyle Larson line here at... See, okay, that lane doesn't work. <laughs> that lane doesn't work. The, the, this track is multi-groove. That groove does not work. <laughs> but, uh, you know, far be it for me to tell Stuart Friesen how to drive his racetrack. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have some competition back here. Ooh, 
Ooh, caught the apron just a little bit there. I'm not sure how much I can keep. Austin Hill behind me. I'll let him go on the outside. I'm gonna try not to give up the bottom because I feel like if I give up the bottom, like I almost did there, if I give up the bottom, I'm gonna lose like nine or ten spots because these guys are still pretty stacked up behind me. Ross Chastain is driven away from Stuart Friesen. We're starting to catch Friesen a little bit here. There comes Matt Crafton charging his way through the field. Seven laps to go in stage number two. Ooh, Austin Hill took a peek there. Couldn't quite get to the inside. So we're, we're really struggling with Stuart Friesen here. <laughs> It shouldn't be this hard to pass somebody who's running <laughs> that high on the racetrack, but... NASCAR Heat 4 video game, everybody. <laughs> oh, I overdrove it. I overdrove it. I'm sorry, Stuart. I uh, made a big mistake there. That's going to make us three wide off turn number two. Matt Crafton is on our inside. Three wide for a second. We clear Stuart Friesen. And Matt Crafton takes over the second spot now. Five to go in stage number two. Man, does anybody have anything for Ross Chastain? He's putting on a clinic here. I don't know. I don't know. Ross Chastain might be the truck to beat here. Now we have Matt Crafton running the, uh, the Stuart Friesen line. And four laps to go in stage number... To the caution comes out and ends the stage prematurely. So Ross Chastain is your is your stage winner, followed by Matt Kraft, and we come third. Fourth is Stuart Friesen, rounding out the top five is Benjamin Rhodes. We have Brett Moffat, Jordan Anderson, Tyler Dippel, Todd Gillen, and Johnny Souter will round out the top ten. We're gonna go ahead and pit with everybody else. Uh, try to loosen this truck up just a little bit, not a whole lot. We just just a little bit of looseness to add to the truck there. We gained a spot, so good job pit crew, but we're on the outside lane, so that's not ideal for us, but we're going to do what we can. Here we go. Green flag is in the air for the third and final stage. Oh, man, we spun the tires again. Got down into Ross Chastain. We didn't hit him too hard, though. We're going to battle side by side. A little door banging with Ross Chastain. We're going to have Matt Crafted, who's going to ex exit the corner flat, which I can't stand. <laughs> but nothing I can do about that right now. We're kind of stuck up here. Matt Crafted is probably going to take over the race lead. My gosh, what a run he had. Here we go to the inside of Benjamin Rhodes. Yeah, I redlined a little bit sooner than I expected to there. So Matt Crafton has taken over the race lead now, but here comes Benjamin Rhodes. Benjamin Rhodes wants a piece of the race lead, and here they go. <laughs> here we go again. These guys exiting the corner flat. I can't do that. I can't do that. I mean, I'm going to try to be as patient as I can here. I'm going to try to be as patient as I can because I can't do anything with these guys who, ent who exit off the corner at the bottom, very, very bottom of the racetrack. I mean, I need the, the track to kind of slide up. Oh, don't hit the wall. Okay, there goes Tyler Dipple on by. We drop back to seventh. Not too big of a deal here. Matt Crafton takes over the race lead again. Okay, Tyler. I'm not even on the gas, man. I'm on the brakes and, like, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're side by side with Tyler Dipple. Stuart Friesen running that. High line up there once again. A little contact with Tyler Dipple. He's kind of holding us up here. If we're going to try to... Oh. oh, we got it. It's Tyler Aggressive goes around. Tyler Dipple wrecks. Caution is out. So, that was unfortunate. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was a stupid move on my part. I'm not even going to sit here and, and try to say anything different. That was a very stupid move on my part. We're going to go ahead. We came down pit road, fixed the damage. We're all the way in the back here. So now we're just going to try to pick our way through the field methodically. Get the best finish that we possibly can. 
We still have 14 laps to go. That's a lot of laps. And these guys are on old tires. So we have a superhuman advantage right now. We're going to be pretty much Kyle Busch Simulator. So we're already kind of picked up five spots there. Oh, there's Josh Balicki. Kind of closed the door on us. But I did answer kind of flat. So I'm not going to be too upset about that. Oh, there was our teammate Tyler Dip, uh, Tyler, uh, Tyler Ankrum, I should say. Almost got into Gus Dean up there, but we're going to go three wide here. Just kind of dive bomb and get to the inside of Mason Massey. All right, 12 laps to go. Benjamin Rhodes is leading this race. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's tight. That's tight. Three wide off turn number two going into turn number three. We avoid running over Sheldon Creed. Now I'm going to look to get to the inside of Grant Enfinger. Grant Enfinger's been struggling. Ooh, don't want to get into my teammate there. Got on the brakes. A little bit too hard, but I didn't want to get into my old my old teammate, I should say, not my current teammate. But he gives us plenty of room. We're gonna to go to the inside of Christian Eckes. Ten laps to go. Stuart Friesen has now taken over the race lead, so there must be some jockeying for position up there in the front. But don't worry. We are not far away. We are not far away. Eyes currently set on the top 10. Nine laps to go in the race. Into the inside of Harrison Burton. Overtake two cars in that corner there. We come off of turn number two. Austin Hill and Johnny Sauter battling for the top 10 spot right now. Mm. Thought about taking advantage of that. Thought better of it. Inside of Johnny Sauter. Inside of Austin Hill. Not a good run for Johnny Sauter. Johnny Sauter had a really good run here last year. And if it wasn't for us, he would have won that race. <laughs> we made that, that pass on with two to go. And caution came out and he wasn't able to kind of battle back and take the lead back and that awarded us the win now we got Stuart Friesen we got these cars up here who their tires are just not going to be any match for ours so we're three wide I said Kyle Busch simulator at this point you overtake two cars in that corner once again now looking to get around Rafael Lassard who's having a really good run here at Iowa. Yeah. I don't want to dive bomb these guys. I'm going to try to be as patient as I can. I know I got to go. I know I had to go, but I need to be as patient as I can. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm only going to be so patient with Lassard here. <laughs> All right. Inside of Rafael Lassard, Tyler Dipple did work himself back into the top 10. He runs the very, very high part of the racetrack <laughs> to avoid us. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> but how about this? Ross Chastain has now taken over the race lead. So our eyes are now set on Brett Moffitt. Four laps to go. Oh, man. <laughs> We're around Moffitt. No problem. We're coming up through this field fast. Three to go when we come to the line. Is there enough time? Caution is out. Ooh, caution oh is out. This changes Another everything. Caution. Green white checker, baby. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> I think they just handed this race to us. There's no way that they can hold us off with their old tires in our medium length tires. There's no way they can hold us off. This might have just won us the race here. 
And I'm not gonna count my chickens before they hatch. Here we go. Ross Chastain is gonna lead them to the line. Green, white checker. Green flags in the air. Here we go. Restart gear engaged. Three wide for third. So we get to the inside of Stuart Friesen. Can we clear Friesen? Not quite. Racing side by side of turn number two. Ross Chastain drives away with the race lead. Ross Chastain, he drives to the very top of the racetrack with three wide for the lead and turf off turn number four. New leader, the 54, white flag in the air. One more lap to go. Can we hang on? Oh, we had a really good turn one and two that time. They've got the guys on old tires. They stand no chance. And we talked about it in the beginning of the race. And we did it! <laughs> two years in a row! Two races in a row! We win the M&M 200 here at Iowa Speedway. How about that? Yeah! My gosh, that, that, <laughs> that could have gone anyway. That could have gone so wrong for us, but it went so right. <laughs> if there wasn't that final caution at the end, we probably would have been relegated to a top five finish. But that caution came out and with our new tires, these guys were just sitting ducks and there was nothing they could do. And that, that is our Sunoco race winning moment. Two in a row, baby, let's go. All right, guys, so here are the race results for the M&M's 200 presented by Casey's General Store here at Iowa Speedway. Two-time Iowa winner. Two-time Iowa winner. No idea. Did not expect that, but it happened. <laughs> it happened somehow. Another win for the 54 team, followed by the 52 team, Stuart Friesen. Ross Chastain, who has himself, I believe, two stage wins, uh, followed by Raphael Assard. And rounding out the top five will be Tyler Dipple. Talk about that in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Matt Crafton comes in sixth. Seventh is Brent Moffitt. Eighth is Austin Hill. Ninth is Todd Gilliland. And rounding out the top ten is Benjamin Rhodes. And here is the rest of the field where you could pick out your favorite driver. Actually, Johnny Souter won a stage. It was not uh, Ross Chastain. Um, wasn't paying attention. It's too, too, <laughs> too busy racing. <laughs> I was too busy racing. Anyway, here's the rest of the field. Pick out your favorite truck driver. Looks like we got Dylan Lupton back in 26th. Uh, Haley Deegan, oh my gosh, Haley Deegan is having the worst, worst first season ever. He's having one of those Dale, she's having one of those Dale Jr. final seasons or <laughs> Jimmy Johnson final seasons, but, but, but worse. Um, looking for my all right, former teammate Park Klingerman, 17th. I did not see where, where's Tyler Ankrum? Uh, did I, did I just blow past him? There he is, 29th. Ooh, not a good showing for DGR other than the 54. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Ross Chastain logs the fastest lap of the race with a 23.98. He also led the most laps of the race, leading 19 laps here at Iowa. On the move, we have Tyler Dipple, who started 23rd and finished 5th. And the tough break of the race would be our teammate. Oh, Tyler Ankrum, 16th to 29th. Unfortunate. Hate to see it. So if anyone's curious, me and Dylan, see, obviously, we worked out our differences. We worked out our differences. We went out, we went karaoke -ing and all that kind of stuff, you know, just, you know, real teammate bonding experiences and stuff like that. We got over all that. So you see, we're good now. We are good. We're best friends. See, these are things I don't understand. These are things I don't understand because I didn't get into Parker Kligerman at all. I braked hard so that I didn't get into him because it's that's my former teammate you know like somebody else may maybe I might not be so cordial about but I break hard not to get into him and I, we still get tweets like this so it's it's a little weird which you know like I I know like the the tweets in NASCAR Heat 5 are glitched but it, it's stuff like this that kind of bothers me okay okay I knew this was coming I want to go ahead and give a huge apology to Tyler Dipple. He didn't deserve that.
<laughs> he didn't deserve that. He really, really didn't deserve that. Um, I, I was frustrated from the race before, and I, I'd been chopped numerous, numerous times in that race, and I wasn't getting a whole lot of room from from Tyler. Granted, like he, he didn't give me a whole lot of room, but I was already irritated and frustrated with 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 the race before, and it like that frustration kind of came out on him. Um, at this had been a regular race, like, you know, a one shot race, like where I didn't have to redo it. Um, I, I would not have done that. So I want to extend my deepest apologies to Tyler Dipple. All right. We're good, Tyler. All right. We're good. We're good. My bad. Matter of fact, Kai, you know, uh, uh, wait, 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 are we going anywhere? Okay. Yeah. We're going kayaking, but Hey, it's on me, all right, and it's on me. I'll pay for everything. I'll use my 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 race winnings, and we'll 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 we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out, all right. And Tyler Tip will look cool. We're cool, all right. All right, move on. All right, so here are the standings after Iowa Speedway. We have seven wins on the season now, extending our lead over Matt Crafton by thirty-two points. Uh, Matt Crafton's running in second with 446 points. Uh, Brett Moffitt in third, 443. Fourth is Ross Chastain, and rounding out the top five is Harrison Burton. Stuart Friesen, I believe, moved up into six. I don't think he was here last week. Uh, seventh is Todd Gillen. Eighth is Sheldon Creed. Ninth is Grand Enfinger, rounding out the top ten. Tyler Dipple. All right, so he moved his way up in there. Uh, I believe our teammate kind of dropped out of the top ten, unfortunately. <sighs> He's not been having a good... Uh, we got to... We, we need, you know, Tyler and I got to have some teammate bonding experiences. It can't just be with uh, with Dylan Lupton. I mean, we need to, I don't, he didn't come last time. We're going to make sure he comes this time, you know, just uh, get, get his spirits up a little bit. Anyway, switch to the playoff standings. We are still leading it within the play, in the little blah, blah, blah. Can't speak today. Uh, we are still leading. <laughs> try that again. It's still leading in the playoffs. Uh, Brett Moffitt is in second. Ross Chastain, Grant Enfinger, and Matt Kraft rounds out the top five. We have Harrison Burton, Stuart Friesen, who is pretty comfortably in now over Todd Gilliland. Um, Sheldon Creed, four points out. Tyler Dipple, 20 points out. Tyler Ankrum now 33 points out. We don't have many races to go before the playoffs hit. It's going to be unfortunate if Tyler Dipple can't get in. Needing wins, we have Christian Eckes, Ben Rhodes, Gustine, Austin Wayne Self, and Jordan Anderson. Uh, so they all need wins to get in. Nothing's changed in this series. Not going to go through that again. So that's pretty much everything after Iowa. It has been... It's been... I love Iowa. I really do. I really do. Like the more I come here, that the more I really, really like racing Iowa, the track, because it's 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 challenging to a point. It's like it's it's Richmond, but not Richmond. Um, it has definitely different uh, challenges that you have to take there. Uh, but I just like short tracks. But main irritation was, um, like I said, from the previous race, just getting chopped off numerous times. Uh, where I'm ru obviously running the bottom, they'll come from the middle of the racetrack or top of the racetrack and just come down, and I have to slam on the brakes, and then, of course, that makes my car shoot up a little bit, and then they, you know, if you're not on the bottom, especially if, if everyone's got fresh tires, if you're not on the bottom, people are just going to freight train you down below, and it's like, okay, <laughs> okay. So a lot of it was patience. I definitely didn't deserve this win. I definitely did not deserve this win. I, I would probably say like te Texas was definitely one of those like where it was like more hard fought. But I was probably relegated to a top five easily. And then the caution came out and it was just like, I have fresher tires than everyone here. <laughs> um, they're sitting ducks. That That's what it really boiled down to is like when the caution came out with with four to go they were just sitting ducks. I had those fresher, you know, Goodyear Eagles, and it was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this was pretty much a done deal. It was just a matter of when it was going to happen. And it was not an easy, you know, easy pass or anything like that because Stuart Friesen wanted it. He really wanted it, man. He kept me he kept me really pinched down on the bottom of the racetrack. He did not run the middle of the of the track at all. He kept me straight up pinched down there and I was hoping I was like, "Oh man, are we going to are we going to make it out of turn number 2?" <laughs> I was like, "Are we going to make it?" But we made I think it was actually turn 4. But uh but yeah, we made it. We made it. It was uh 
it was a heck of a heck of a last couple of laps. Kind of wish it would have went green. I know uh, Ross Chastain and uh, and uh, Stuart Friesen probably wished it would have went green, but and I kind of do too. I kind of do too. But like I said, it, it was a it was a it was a pretty pretty spectacular finish there, but definitely kind of stole this one away it was definitely one of those like i definitely stole this like unlike texas i would say like texas from the the uh the previous texas race i can't remember what the name of that event was but that texas race was definitely stolen like the last one i would probably say we earned you know when we raced at texas but this one this is because it's kind of a stolen win at, at at iowa um but is that despite you know getting frustrated with the AI, I still really like this track. I still really really like this track. Um, and if you have a custom setup, it's even better. <laughs> it's even better because that means you're not going to be wrecking off turn number four randomly. Uh, refer to my uh, refer to the uh, chase for the fantasy cup race, um, which was really weird and kind of dumb towards the end. But anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. We're going to gateway next week we got our incentive contract knocked that out of the park i probably could have chosen the the two top tens or whatever but i was more concerned about texas and gateway um like i said i was i was pretty much going to get a top 10 regardless of which at, at iowa iowa was kind of like a i want to say it's a given but i know i'm i, I know i can i get a top 10 there Texas and and Gateway, oh boy, we are we are in for something when we go to Gateway. Um, but the pressure's off for the incentive contract. The pressure's off there. We're just going to try to get the best possible finish we got. We have forty laps. It's a long race there, and it's just it's it's Gateway. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's Gateway. I might do something stupid like I did last time just to make it a little bit more fun and entertaining, kind of break the monotony up a little bit. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see when we get there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Gator Outdoors Truck Series Racing here on McBlam Racing. If you enjoy these races, I do them every weekend following the Gander Outdoor Truck Series. So be sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video, click the notification bell, because sometimes uh, sometimes subscriptions don't mean all that much. So if you click the notification bell, you get notified every time I post a video. And make sure that, like I said, leave a like on the video, comment, Hashtag two time down below. <laughs> uh, hashtag two time Iowa down below. So comment that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I really appreciate it. And I will see you at the gateway, possibly to hell. See ya. <laughs>